Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Life Science with KMD. Today I'm going to explain about heavy metal toxicity and FICO remediation. Now the first metal which I'm going to explain is mercury. Fish can be contaminated with methyl mercury from neighboring industrial plant. They discharge mercury waste into water which result in minimata disease or mercury poisoning now what are the effect of uh, you know mercury poisoning one is blindness deafness lack of coordination and intellectual deterioration so these are all effect of mercury poisoning cadmium itai itai disease is caused by cadmium poisoning and it was first observed in japan in the year 1950 Cadmium was released into the river by mining companies in the mountains. It causes softening of bone and kidney failure. Name of the disease is derived from the painful screams because of severe pain in the joints and the spine of the victim. They used to, you know, scream pain, pain. So that's why the name has been derived. So next is lead. lead poisoning increase the level of lead lead to negative effect on the nervous and reproductive system usually the lead containing uh, gasoline paints batteries electric wire and cables etc will be having the lead through which the contamination will increase hydrocarbons such as ddt which is dichloro diphenyl trichloroethane it is a organochlorine insecticide which is banned in the year 1972 exposure to ddt cause egg shell thinning in birds example raptors eagle it is also toxic to humans and animals when swallowed or absorbed through skin now these toxic heavy metal could lead to biomagnification that means chemical concentration is said to be magnified through the magnified thousand fold in tissue of higher tropical level organism that is called as biomagnification see compared to smaller organism biomagnification is more in the higher tropical level organism that is why it is called as biomagnification now the bio remediation by algae is called as phyco remediation see here algae will utilize the metabolites and um, they utilize carbon dioxide and oxygen from the atmosphere um, and even they utilize um, light from the sun water from the water body carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and um, it will create less harmful metabolites so in this way it will be helpful in phyco remediation phyco remediation the use of macro and micro algae for removal or bio transformation of pollutants including nutrients and xenobiotics from wastewater and uh, carbon dioxide from wastewater this phenomena is naturally occurring algae utilize the wastes as nutritional source and uh, enzymatically degrade the pollutants the xenobiotics and uh, heavy metals are known to be detoxified transformed or volatilized by algal metabolism an integrated algae and bacteria based waste water system can be remove can remove a wide variety of contaminants biological methods are often preferred since they have many advantages like rapid biodegradation rate low sludge yield and excellent process stability phyto extraction phyto extraction means chelated assisted phyto extraction of heavy metal from the soil various synthetic amino polycarbolic acid such as pol uh, ethylene diamine tetra acetic acid natural ones such as uh, ethylene diamine diamine disuccinate and uh, nitrilo triacetic acid these 
components or the these heavy metals can be extracted through phyto extraction phyto degradation algae can phyto degrade petroleum naphthalenic uh, naphthenic acid and hydrocarbons uh, mainly cyanobacteria and uh, other algae can able to degrade these uh, petroleum um, naphthalenic acid and hydrocarbon phytovolatilization the process where plant take up contaminants which are water soluble and are released them into the atmosphere as they transpire the water this process is called phytovolatilization phytostabilization phytostabilization is a transformation of one species toxic molecule into less toxic species or reduction of mobility later on uh, next process is gene manipulation gene responsible for degradation of a pollutant is introduced or altered and expressed in suitable bacteria example is e coli gaseous bioremediation gaseous bioremediation is to pass the polluted gas through a vessel in which pollutants are transferred to the waste uh, to the water medium and further degraded by the uh, microorganism now these are some of the algae which could able to efficiently remove the heavy metals now in case of uh, chlorophyta which is a green algae um some of the examples are chlorella senedesmus uh, especially chlorella vulgaris could able to uh, remove heavy metal that is zinc cadmium uh, senedesmus acutus chromium and uh, senedesmus uh, um, oblicus who could able to remove cobalt uh, then sargassum newton can able to remove aluminum and um, uh, sargassum vulgare copper nickel and cadmium laminaria japanica could able to remove zinc and copper so this is how some of the examples of algal species which, which could able to remove heavy metals immobilized microalgae here the transfer of cells from a free state to the state in which they are confined or localized in in a certain defined region of space advantage of immobilized microalgae is that reusing the biomass after regeneration avoid filtration of the treated wastewater and then more than one microorganism can be immobilized here the immobilizing material could be alginate k keragenin keragenin polyurethane foam silica gel so it could be any of these things and these are some of the microalgae which are used to immobilize uh, the immobilized on this material and these are the pollutants which are you which will be removed with the help of immobilized microalgae these are few more microalgae which are examples of uh, immobilized immobilization of the microalgae now what are all uh, advantages of algal technology apart from heavy metal toxicity they are cost effective eco friendly and safe process non pathogenic photosynthetic organism and do not produce any toxic substances high nutrient value therefore can be suitable as a live feed for aquaculture removal of waste carbon dioxide due to photosynthetic fixation and useful biochemicals such as nutraceuticals pharmaceuticals biofertilizer and biofuel from the algal biomass can be utilized so these are all advantages of algae apart from phyto remediation thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button subscription doesn't cost you any money to get a notification click on a bell icon do like and share this video with friends and family if you have any kind of feedback do share it on a comment box thank you